Hello, everyone, and welcome to AEW Dark. I am in Excalibur. I almost called myself Taz. That's Taz right next to me, and that's Dasha Gonzalez in the ring. And that's Kiera Hogan. The following contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from Hotlanta, Kiera Hogan. You know, people that are all from Atlanta, they don't say Hotlanta. Well, so that's why Kiera didn't say it. No, yeah, Dasha's not right. from Hotlanta. Right, no. Right. She's not. Her opponent already in the ring, Danica Della Rouge. And you know why they call it Hot Lanta Tess? Well, I've been there a lot. Uh, it's definitely humid as hell and hot as hell, but that's a whole story. Tell me why. Tell me why. Oh, that, I was going to say because of the weather. Oh, thanks. In inclement weather. That's great. Though. Connor Nobo tie up there. Kier Hogan. Stop off great. <laughs> You should have heard it before oh, I we heard began. a little bit of it. <laughs> I heard a little bit. As Kiara charges in, Danica Della Rouge eats a back elbow, though, from Kiara Hogan, gets backed off. Now eats the boot to the face. Yeah, Danica rushed in a little bit too much, and Hogan caught her. As Kiara making the ascent to the top, diving work on Rana. Got to follow up here. Kiara, let's see what you got. Oh, nice shots. Kiera laying in those elbow strikes, hits the ropes, and, and oh! Flapjack from Danica Della Rouge, and now right hand to the top of the head. And Kiera, she is stumbling towards the ropes. Danica Della Rouge with the advantage. No, Kiera counters with the back elbow. Yeah, Kiera's rocked a little bit, but. So the young lady here rushing in too much and ate a couple elbows. She's, she's uh oh, watch out. Drop to a hold. Kiera building up momentum and the hip attack on the ropes. Danica Del Rouge bat, brought back towards center. Kiera Hogan waiting, sizing her up. And Kiera comes back, back elbow. Look at that good quickness right there and really dropping her. Kiera on fire here. Oh, because she's from Hotlanta. I get Hotlanta, it. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. the segue, my friend. <laughs> yes. That's what we do here. Kiera sweeps out the leg, building up steam, the sliding single foot drop kick to the face. I think that Kiera probably could zone in for the victory right about now. Kiera launch off the back, the leg drop. Kiera hooks the far leg. <laughs> Whoa! Damn, wow. I can tell a rouge kicking out. Didn't expect that. Uh-oh, looks like Hogan's really pissed off here. Kiera Hogan sizing up Danica Della Rouge. The boot avoided the lariat block. Roundhouse kick. And Kiera now with the leg hooked. And the inside hook on the suplex and the win for Kiera Hogan. Winner of this match, Kiera Hogan. Well, Kiera Hogan kicking us off here tonight on AEW Dark with a big win. And Taz, Kiera busting out a back throw. Yeah, overhooked that knee and really good back off. She drove her opponent right on the head. Good way to capture a victory, and that's exactly what Hogan did. And Kiera Hogan. Kicking us off strong here tonight on AEW Dark. On Friday, March 31st. Ring of Honor Wrestling returns to the City of Angels. Professional wrestling fans from around the world will descend on Los Angeles. Welcome everyone to Supercard of Honor. For one of the most anticipated events of the year. Get ready to give you a show that's gonna blow your mind. Ring of Honor Wrestling presents Supercard of Honor. Business. Where the hearts of these champions will shine bright on one of the biggest stages of them all. Oh, See Claudio Castagnoli. I have been the final boss for years. The Briscoes, Samoa Joe. Nobody walks out alive. Wheeler Yuta, Athena, the Embassy, and many more will be there live. Yeah, I got goosebumps, man. Our await Supercard of Honor. Live from the Galen Center at USC with an early bell time at 4 p.m. Tickets go on sale Friday, January 27th at 10 a.m. Go to ROHTix.com or AEWTix.com. Singles action, the machine. Brian Cage with Prince Nana coming up next. The 
following contest is set for one ball with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, accompanied by Prince Nana from Chico, California, weighing 272 pounds, the machine, Brian Cage. Brian Cage, one third of the Ring of Honor, six man tag team champions competing in singles action here tonight. A man that, as we've discussed, Taz knows extremely well. Cage, a former member of Team Taz, now part of the embassy of Prince Nana. And his opponent already in the ring, Carl Randers. Yeah, you know, Brian Cage, the machine, he's a dangerous dude, man. That's well documented. People know that for a long time. Goes in amazing shape, one of the most powerful athletes you're gonna find anywhere in the world of pro wrestling. Damn combat sports. I mean, you know, <laughs> and look at the flexibility. Look at that kick, dude. Great flexibility right there. Yeah, that thrust kick from the machine, Brian Cage, dropping Carl Randers. And just a reminder, tomorrow night, 8, 7 Central, live on TBS, is AEW Dynamite. Brian Danielson's quest to the top continues when he goes one-on-one -on -one with Bandito. Absolute Ricky Starks takes on Jake Hager. Renee Paquette will speak with Hangman Adam Page. The Young Bucks face top flight in tag team action. And Darby Allen faces Kushida in a TNT Championship title match. And Tony Khan has signed Orange Cassidy and Jay Lethal for the AEW All-Atlantic Championship. All of that and so much more live tomorrow night on TBS. Yeah, loaded, loaded in Fresno for sure. And my man here is trying to get Brian Cage off his feet, but it's not working. Randers sent into the corner, the springboard, but Brian Cage caught him. Voice him up onto the shoulders and Oh, Randers able to escape out. Cage pops him up. Whoa, hook and run attempt. And Cage with the power bomb. What a strength. Oh! Hung on the second power bomb. That one on the knee. And now Cage power bomb into the turnbuckles. And discus lariat. Brian Cage covers and gets the win. The winner of this match, Brian Cage. A very strong performance here tonight for the machine, Brian Cage. Uh, here we see the power bomb into the turnbuckle. That was just the beginning of the end for Carl Randers. The discus lariat scoring the win for Brian Cage here tonight on AEW Dark. Omega! Tomorrow on TBS. Adam Paul is back! The last dynamite shook up AEW. Now. There will be no one hour Iron Man match. Brian Danielson continues his quest for a title shot against Bandito. I'm talking to you, Gilligan, with the stupid hat. And Ricky Starks takes on Jake Hager. I'm gonna slap your face off of your face. Wednesday Night Dynamite, live tomorrow at 8 on TBS. Tag team action coming up next here on AEW Dark is Sammy Guevara and Daniel Garcia of the Jericho Appreciation Society in action next. The Jericho Appreciation Society, the epitome of sports and an age. Sammy Guevara. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 390 pounds, the team of Daniel Garcia and Sammy Guevara. See what Sammy did right there. He's, he's the mentor to Garcia, so he's trying to show Garcia how you do an entrance. That's what he's doing. Yeah, the, uh, and Sammy Guevara going for the hug. Daniel Garcia, he just wants to be about the business of, uh, of sports entertaining, apparently. And uh, yeah, the, the assigned mentor of Daniel Garcia is Sammy Guevara, assigned by Chris Jericho of the Jericho Appreciation Society. Well, these men do work for Jericho, so you gotta, you know, you gotta listen to the boss, right? That's, that's uh, you know, Jericho. Their opponents are in the ring, the team of Brian Cook and Damo. I mean, Jericho realizes the stars that both Sammy and Garcia are, 
So he realizes Sammy is a role model, let's be honest. I mean, most people love Sammy. Why wouldn't you look up to a guy like Sammy? He's got so many great qualities. You know what I'm saying, Excalibur? So many. Oh, I know exactly what you're saying, Taz. And uh, Sammy Guevara starting things out with Damos, big man across the ring from him. And Daniel Garcia will be taking on Action Andretti this coming Friday night rampage, 10 9 Central on TNT. The uh, Jericho Appreciation Society at continuing to uh, attempt to settle scores against Chris Jericho's enemies, Taz. Well, I mean, you know, listen, I mean, like you said, Jericho has a, a, you know, a large faction in the JAS, and they're all very loyal to him, they're all very talented. So you want to get a pest out of the way, maybe you can get Andretti out of the way, and Garcia can get it done. I mean, I think that that's a, a good move if you're Chris Jericho. Garcia's a talented guy. Yeah, just want to remind fans in Laredo, Texas, that AEW will be making our debut at the Sames Auto Arena on Wednesday, February 15th, and then we will be heading to Sacramento, California just a few weeks later at the Golden One Center on Wednesday, March 8th, and our debut in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, for a special Tuesday Night Dynamite at the Canada Life Center on Tuesday. March 14th, tickets for all three events available right now, AEWTIX.com. Taz, I know that you love to spend your marches in Winnipeg. Oh, I, I mean, listen, I love Winnipeg. Are you kidding me? I love Canada. I mean, Canada loves me. I mean, it's, it's all about love in Canada. Winnipeg's beautiful. I think we, time we, of year. we yeah. determined that you were, uh, they were having a parade for you as the, the Winnipeg's favorite or something? Yeah, yeah, they're doing a whole big thing, uh, like five blocks from the arena, not, but the day after the show. Okay, so should I stick around? <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'm going to leave too. I'm not going to make it. But, uh, <laughs> okay. I'm not going to be there, you know. Oh, Guevara extending the hand and then a cheap shot to the jaw. Yes, Guevara, man. Heavy hitter, nice sap, snap suplex. The lateral press. Sammy Guevara loves to showboat, yes. Loves to look at him. Showboat, like I just said, look at him. Uh, you know what, Taz? Sammy Guevara, a kid, great head of hair. He's got a hell of a head of hair, I'll tell you that right now. I hope Garcia on the apron is paying attention to what Sammy is doing, everything he's doing. The leapfrog to backflip, the corkscrew dropkick, and Sammy Guevara back up to his feet, making it look easy here tonight. And the tag to Daniel Garcia. Sammy could be thinking about taking flight here. Guevara, oh, maybe not, or maybe, no, or maybe not, or maybe here it comes, no. Slides through the, oh, the chop to the chest. Hey, I like that. Fooled his opponent, a lot of work for a chop, but hey, he got it off. And then Garcia, I think he's telling Garcia to do the same thing. I don't think Garcia's gonna do that, but we'll see. Well, Garcia ducks under the Larry and it's, oh, a DDT! Oh, Garcia snapped off that DDT inside the ring while Guevara, the knee strike on the outside, and Daniel Garcia, he's building up momentum just like his mentor, Sammy Guevara. Oh, oh what a chop. Well, he did it. I mean, he might have done it better than Sammy. Oh, he didn't really want to get the love. But Garcia don't want to get no love from Sammy. What the hell? Well, Daniel Garcia returns Brian Cook to the ring. Hoist him up. And just a elevated lug blower there from Daniel Garcia. And Sammy Guevara tagged in. Sam, I think Sammy could have pinned him right there, Taz. I think you're right. This is the uh, beginning of the end here. Oh, the GTH from Sammy. One, two, three. <laughs> nice victory right there for the Jericho Appreciation Society. The winners of this match, the team of Sammy Guevara and Daniel Garcia. Dasha, Dasha went out to get a cup of coffee. <laughs> well, nonetheless, yes, a very nice victory for the Jericho Appreciation Society, Sammy Guevara and Daniel Garcia. <laughs>
I'm coming for your spot. Do you have what it takes to be the boss? AEW Wednesday Night Dynamite at 8 on TBS. There we go. One-on-one -on -one action right here on Dark. The Trustbusters, Davari, goes one-on-one -on -one with Andretti right now on Dark. The following contest is set for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Introducing first from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing 182 pounds. Action! Andretti! Action Andretti returning to the ring for the first time since his big victory over Chris Jericho, but it wasn't just the big victory, it was Jericho throwing the fireball into the eye of Action Andretti. You can still see around that left eye, feeling the effects of it is Andretti. Yeah, that's a big, uh, big wound right there, burns and whatnot. So if you're the man coming out right now, Davari, you probably want to, I guess, focus on that left eye. And his opponent. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Action. Look, I know for the last few weeks, the Jericho Appreciation Society has been kicking your ass. So I got a proposition for you. Hey, shut up for a second. I got a proposition for you. How about this? How about you lay down and you let me beat you, and in return, I'll make sure the Trustbusters have your back and the Jericho Appreciation Society leaves you alone for good. What do you say? Pretty good offer there, Excalibur. I mean, it's just three seconds of his life. It's a lot to consider. You know what, Davari? Call me crazy, but I think you might be right. Having the Jericho Appreciation Society to deal with these past few weeks, it's been very stressful for me. I mean, look at my face. So maybe joining the Trustbusters and you guys having my back is what I need to do. Well, I don't know. He didn't say anything about joining the Trustbusters. Fantastic! Ring the bell, please. He definitely didn't say that. He said we'd watch your back. Correct. Well, the bell has rung, and, and oh, Andretti, he's, he's gonna really lay down. considering yeah. this. Well, Andretti, I guess a man of his word. All right, Davari. Could be one of, oh, wait oh, a second. Oh. Andretti, two, no. Try to pull a fast one on him there. That was uh, pretty slick. Action, Andretti. Sent into the ropes, Davari through the back elbow, through the lariat, both missed. The E.T. Harris, though, connects by Andretti, taken down Ari Davari. Andretti, the tornado off the bottom rope. Got good elevation right there. Good, good uh, uh, elevation right there, the tornado. And now, look at that chop, nice chop. Davari's got to try to slow this guy down here. And Action Andretti. He will be competing this Friday night, 10 9 Central on TNT, when he takes on the Jericho Appreciation Society's Daniel Garcia. So, this is a big week for Andretti in his return to, to the ring. Andretti, oh! Got his, his footing on the top, but Davari was right there to disrupt the balance. Yeah, very smart, good veteran move by Davari. Right on the old Yambang region for Andretti, and now Davari right at that eye, like I said earlier, my friend. Three shots, here's a third. Oh, no, rip the eye out. Rip yeah. it out of the socket. Yeah, rip it out of there. Davari digging his thumb into that eye of action Andretti, that eye that, you know, the, Andretti was burned by the fireball from Chris Jericho. Andretti only recently returning, or only recently cleared to return to action, but uh, now Andretti, though, the roll-up, two. High roundhouse kick, but the high roundhouse kick did not land, but the NC Geary does. And Trey, oh, he got cut off there by Tavari. 
Yeah, good quickness by Davari saying, no, 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 not so fast. No, I think that Andretti had some kind of a flying diving move maybe in mind, but uh, Davari able to shut him down right in the middle of the ring there. Oh, look at that again, the, that messed up eye right across the top rope. And just want to remind fans in the Kansas City area that AEW's only live event of 2023 takes place on Wednesday, March 22nd at the Cable Dahmer Arena in Independence, Missouri. And then we will return to the New York Tri-State area for the first time in this year when Dynamite comes to the UBS Arena on Long Island on Wednesday, April 5th. Tickets for both events available right now. AEWTAX.com and Ticketmaster.com. Well, and Jerry was swinging. He couldn't see what he was, you know, because of his eye. He was trying to, you know, get his opponent back, but he couldn't see him. Oh, watch out. And Drenny comes flying back, the handspring elbow. And Davari didn't see that one coming. Action and Drenny with a chance here. Davari very unsteady as Andretti comes flying in with the elbow strike. A lariat there. Andretti ducks under. The back breaker, neck breaker combination. Oh, he's got to try and follow up, but that was smart of Davari. He's banged up and he got out of the ring. But I think that action and dread is going to take to the sky, my man. Big tope from action and dread. High velocity as he wipes out Davari on the ramp. But action and dread. He's got Ari Davari. Down inside the ring, and Dreddy split like a moonsault. Both legs hooked, and no, Ari Tavari able to kick out. Yeah, good split leg moonsault there. And again, going back to the eye, he's in a lot of pain. So that's got to be rough. Your vision, man, you only can see out of one eye during a fight, during a match. That's rough. Yeah, and I mean, especially with the burn, too, you got, you got the sweat. Yeah, that's tough. Just rolling into that to that burn, stinging the eye of, of uh, Action Andretti. Good point about the sweat. I didn't think of the sweat, but you're right about that. Oh, the eye, he grabbed it again. Yeah, Tavari. Tavari may be trying to permanently injure Action Andretti here, though. Chops in the corner. I think one of them might have caught Andretti in the mouth. I think you're right. I think it definitely did. Andretti out to the apron, the high common Geary. Staggers Davari back and action and ready now. Big time Tornillo off the top. But Andretti's momentum it carried him off Davari. And the running shooting star press. That's how he beat Jericho. Two, three, Andretti's done it. The winner of this match, action and ready. Well, it wasn't easy, but impressive victory there for Andretti, for sure. Yeah, the winning ways continue for Action Andretti. Can he keep it up this Friday night when he faces Daniel Garcia? Signals action coming up here on AEW Dark. Powerhouse Hobbs competes one-on-one -on -one next. Contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from East Palo Alto, California, when 270 pounds, Powerhouse Hobbs. Taz, you know Will Hobbs better than most, and we've heard a lot in the last few weeks about the next chapter in the book of Hobbs. Do you happen to have any insights? No, I've unfortunately lost a lot of communication with Powerhouse Hobbs. Uh, he's kind of doing his own thing, and he's not the type of, he's it, it, just different than what he was. He's not the type of guy to, to interrupt the, the book of Hobbs and what he's doing. His opponent already in the ring, Jaden. Jaden, very popular athlete here in Portland, Oregon. Yeah, well, Jaden, uh, hopefully he's awake in three minutes. Hobbs is just, he's changed. He's definitely, he was vicious and violent with Team Taz, but this monster, this, this, this powerhouse Hobbs that we have seen for weeks and we've seen the videos on, you know, from how he grew up, where he grew up, and, and the horrible upbringing he had, and the horrific stuff he had to deal with. 
that's made him this violent monster monster that he is. And I mean that's really the, the key thing Taz it's 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 all of those things made Will Hobbs into what he is today. And oh what he is is a vicious vicious man as he hoists Jaden up. Jaden was playing superhero and then he got his face damn near kicked in from a badass delay vertical suplex and Hobbs just dropped him from the top. Inwood powerhouse Hobbs it's not just his violentness and the power as you see there but it's his quickness his explosivity it's all there. The spine buster Hobbs now pulls him up pulls Jaden up the back breaker and oh damn Hobbs flattens him two and three. Winner of this match, Powerhouse Hobbs. Good luck to anyone on our roster that's going to cross this man. You are in deep, you know what, when you deal with Hobbs. Powerhouse Hobbs, I mean, he was an amazing athlete before this with a, with a profound mean streak, but now it seems like he's gotten even meaner, Taz. He really has. He's unhinged. Really, I, can, I know him so well, I see it in his eyes, man. Booker Hobbs, you can look in this guy's eyes and see he's, he's a bad man. What is in the next chapter of the Book of Hobbs? Whatever it is, it cannot be good for the competition. This is very nearly an all Jericho Appreciation Society episode of Dark because Daddy Magic, Matt Menard, and Cool Hand Ange in tag team action next. with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, Jericho Appreciation Society's Daddy Magic, Matt Menard, and Cool Hand, Angelo Parker. You know, I gotta tell you, it depends on the week for me with these two guys. Sometimes I can't stand them. Like personally, like backstage, on camera, I hate them. Then there were times like today that actually I like them. I like them right now. So. He's saying it depends on the week, and so for 51 weeks out of the year, you despise them. Yeah. But for one week, you're, That's it. you're you yeah. like Daddy Magic and Cool Hand. Yeah, and I think they feel the same way about me. Their opponents already in the ring. The team oh. of Eddie Pearl and there you go. Oh, smart. Yeah, uh, Parker and Menard just going after these men before the bell. He's starting things out hot, and you know, I mean, we've. We've heard a little, little bit of a, a war of words between yourself, Taz, and and Daddy Magic, Matt Menard. Uh, Daddy Magic using using his his podium that is Monday nights on AEW Dark Elevation to to, to have some words, to sh some shots back towards you. His podium. He's had a podium for three weeks. I've had a podium for three decades. Get the hell out of here, please. <laughs> Daddy Magic, I well, like Daddy. him. I, I'm over here liking the guy. You're gonna have me bury him now. I, 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 no, he, yeah, he he took shots at me. Why? He, he, I think you're in the middle. I think you have been creating this. You, Excalibur. I'm going to talk to Daddy Magic and Angelo Parker. I think you have something to do with this. I really do. Well, Taz, I mean, you know, just just this past uh, this past Friday night at Rampage, Chris Jericho accused me of, of trying to stir the pot when I brought up the fact that Absolute Ricky Starks and Action Andretti had actually beaten Chris Jericho over the last. Well, I think weeks. Jericho's right. You start trouble. And right now, look at this, Daddy Magic, Angela Parker, Vesta still on there, just tearing these guys up. Oh, nice shot, though. Oh, Daddy Magic, though, sidestep. Cool hand. Nice. Good Comes job. in. Elbow drop to old. And Parker and Menard give the opposition a little bit of a taste. I know these guys' offense, bro. There was a time not too long where I was scouting a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And well, now the elevated DDT, double DDT, and the cover, Impressive. and the win. Impressive. 
The winners of this match, Daddy Magic, Matt Menard, and Cool Hand, Angelo Parker. Tell you what, Jericho's got to be proud of Angelo Parker and Daddy Magic, Cool Hand, and Daddy Magic. He's all about getting his nipples hard. That's Daddy Magic. <laughs> no doubt about it, Taz. No doubt about it. He does. He puts it over all the time. That's his gimmick. Main event time here on AEW Dark. Blackpool Combat Club's Wheeler Yuta and Claudio Castagnoli taking on the Butcher and the Blade. The following contest is a tag team match set for one ball with a 20 minute time limit. In Tuesday first, accompanied by the Bunny. The Butcher and the Blade. Big reaction here in Portland, Oregon for the Butcher and the Blade. People excited about this tag team main event here at the Veterans Memorial Coliseum. Home to so many great nights of professional wrestling action throughout the years. The team of the Ring of Honor World Champion, Claudio Castagnoli, and the Ring of Honor Pure Wrestling Champion, Wheeler Utah. Well, I like I like the kick of the bunny's mask, and then uh, then the crab walk as well. Blackpool Combat Club starting things yes. out hot here before the bell is even rung. Oh, whoa, they're starting out hot. Well, because Butcher and Blade, they're starting out hot, too. Yeah, I guess Butcher and Blade really angry about the Bunny's mask getting kicked into the crowd. And, oh! oh Bunny's, a, Bunny's tough to deal with. She's going to be pissed about that mask. Bunny's going to have to talk to oh. one of these fans in Portland about getting that mask back. And right now, the Blade. Oh, the guy behind me, the guy behind me needs a mask like you. <laughs> that guy's ugly, but I digress. Uh, Claudio Cassioli, the Blade. Pairing off, as are the Butcher and Wheeler Yuta. And look at this, the, the Butcher just choking Yuta in front of those, those handsome fans there in the front row. That little kid's gonna have nightmares forever. Story of my life, <laughs> my childhood was nightmares. <laughs> and now, Sorry. Butcher and the Blade have the, the advantage on Claudio Castagnoli, and the bell hasn't even rung for this match. Says no, but Claudio's bell just got rung on that chair, man. Oof. Oh, I see what you did there. That was a good one. It's called a segue. <laughs> well, not really a segue. It's more of a continuity bridge. But I digress. Oh, Yuda's in trouble. Yuda oh! got elevated into the knee from the blade. And then the butcher comes in with the lariat, the bunny, liking what she's seeing. I'll tell you, all four of these guys, I'm a fan of all four of them, but got to pick one. I tell you, I kind of like to see Butcher and Blade get the upset victory in this match, but it hasn't even started. Like you said, it's still outside the ring. And uh, Claudio going face first into the ring post, and now competitors have entered the ring. Rick Knox calls for the bell, and this match officially underway. It's the Butcher. Big gut wrench right there, yeah. And just carrying Claudio towards the center. The Blade. So strong. Oh, drop kick. Gut wrench there. Gut wrench suplex, suplex yeah. yeah. That's nice gut wrench. I know you struggle calling suplexes, I've heard. But I digress. Um, yeah, so it's a double team maneuver. Kick into the suplex. Gut wrench. Usually Quoto does the gut wrenches at Calvin. You know this. I do know this. Huh. Keep up, son. Oh, look, the bunny. Just getting a little extracurricular activity there with the referee's back turn. heard someone say, I do know this. Who says that? I said, you get... You know this, you go, I do know this. I do know this, Taz, I do know this. I know you know it. I know it. I know you know this. We all know it. I know. Uh, we all know. Taz, you know what I know is happening? No, what do you know? AEW Dynamite is live tomorrow night, 8, 7 central on TBS from Fresno, California. Still have a chance mm. to join us, AEWTAX.com. You will see the American Dragon, Brian Danielson, continue his quest to the top, his quest to face MJF as revolution when Danielson takes on Bandito, plus absolute Ricky Starks, goes one-on-one -on -one with Jake Hager of the Jericho Appreciation Society. Renee Paquette will speak with Hangman Adam Page after Hangman's big victory over John Moxley last week. Top flight take on the Young Bucks just after the Young Bucks 
reclaiming the EW World Trios Championship alongside Kenny Omega last week. Plus, Kushida debuts here in AEW to take on Darby Allen for the TNT Championship. Plus, Orange Cassidy and Jay Lethal one-on-one -on -one for the AEW All-Atlantic Championship. All of that and so much more tomorrow night, live from Fresno on TBS. Good rear chin lock choke by the blade on Claudio. I can't wait to get to Fresno. One of my favorite sushi spots is in Fresno, home of the uh, Fresno State Bulldogs, by the way. The sushi spot? Oh, good sushi spot there. No, no, oh. sushi and pop, it's called. It's right near the university, but enough of that. Uh, it's really good. I go there all the time. Well, when I used to go to Fresno a lot. Look at the power here of Claudio. Blade is not a small man, and Claudio was just able to, to overpower him and just reposition Blade and land that massive vertical suplex. Even our food suggestions during dark. That's what I do here. I'm a critic. There's nobody to tag for Claudia. Where is Yuta? Yeah, Yuta still feeling the effects of that beating on the outside from Butcher and Blade. He was a tough dude. He's trying to get back on that apron to help his partner. And I'll tell you, man, Claudio, oof, he's in trouble. Yeah, Claudio in serious trouble. Butcher doing the smart thing keeping himself between Claudio and, and the Blackpool Combat Club's corner in the event that, that Yuta is able to bring himself up to the apron and make a tag. Butcher will be there to prevent it. Claudio was, he was trying to fight against the odds. Oh, Butcher takes Yuta off the apron once again. Butch, Butcher just sending Yuta to the floor. Claudio. Sternum first right there. Sternum first. Maybe get him. Watch that hand. It's under the ropes there, ref. If the referee saw that, look from his angle. Rich Knox, he might have, not Rich Knox, Rick Knox. He might have missed that the hand was under there. No related to Rich Knox. That's my, uh, that was my real estate agent years ago. <laughs> oh, for your, for your fifth and sixth home, I believe. Lateral press there. Yes, by well, the oh, Blade. Well, nah, I bought five villas uh, in South Beach. That's uh, near Miami. Got rid of him last week. <laughs> You're such a mover and shaker, Taz. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, no comeback for that. <laughs> 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 the blade getting his jaw rocked. Yeah, it's, you know, smart, I think, of Butcher and Blade to single out Claudio, the bigger, powerful guy, Uter. You know, is just can't get in to help. It's frustrating for him, but it's uh, it's a smart strategy singling out the bigger man. I like that. Yeah, especially when you got two mean guys like like Butcher and the Blade that are that are willing to cut corners. That and actually not even willing. They like cutting corners. They like taking the shortcuts, the cheap shots to hurt their opponents. Oh, they love it. They do. And you're right. They're nasty. And Claudio knows that. But Claudio is resilient. He can take punishment. Uh-oh, and he's strong as hell, as we know. Yeah, he just scooped up the blade. And now the blade, once again, trying to lock in the sleeper. Back to that sleeper, that rear choke. Had the legs in for a moment. And this time, Claudio down flat on the mat. He could be in serious trouble. Claudio may be going out. Yeah, you notice how blade keeps that ear close to the head. That's what you want to try to do while you have well, your chin on the head. You know, you want to keep your face and head next to your opponent. It's tighter. The hold is tighter that way. But Claudio landed the jawbreaker there. Butcher is the legal man, and he just comes in to layer it in the corner. I thought Claudio was going to be able to come back, but the Butcher and the Blade with the chance here. The cover, two, and no! Claudio able to kick out. Yeah, that, I thought that was 3-2, and Butcher thought it was 3. It was close, but Claudio inched it out. Yuta's still down out there. Yeah, I mean, just really a testament to the toughness of Claudio Castagnoli able to, to weather all this punishment at the hands of the Butcher and the Blade, and even the Bunny as well. Yeah, again, even though our strongest Claudio is, he can't power Butcher to the corner. Oy. He tried to, to hoist up Butcher, but Butcher just left and right clubbing shots across the back. And, Rick Knox telling him they're all over this guy. Hey, he's in trouble here, but Claudio's still fighting, dude. Claudio, big shots to the butcher, and Enzi Geary, that one dropped the big man. 
Yeah, he got rocked for sure. And here's it's you know, Cordell now. It's got to try to get the unit. You would have finally made it up to the apron here. Yeah, but he's been in bad shape out there. What you're trying to? Oh boy, trying to cut off Claudio Castagnoli. Claudio with a crossbody. And oh, butcher! Just a big elbow strike. Claudio sidesteps. Good quickness. This might be the opportunity you to realize if Wheeler knows. Get over here, Claudio. But Ted, Get over here. I think if Claudio's, if he doesn't make the tag, I think this could be it for the Blackpool Combat Club. Might be right. Claudio. He's far, man. Claudio's far. I know he's tall and rangy, but yeah, he's, oh, he's getting closer, though. Guess what happens when you fall towards the guy. Got oh, it. and he makes the tag. Here comes Wheeler Yuta. Drop kick to the butcher, and oh, Yuta just grabbing the blade by the ear and battering him with shots in the corner. Good job by Wheeler. And Yuta comes in, the elbow strike. Blade getting rocked there. And Yuta, big elbow Four. off the top. Yeah. Wheeler, Yuta, looking for the German suplex. Blade, the reversal. Yuta lands the elbow strike. Oh, what a knee there by Blade. Yuta. Drop underneath, German suplex, one, two, no, oh, Butcher breaks it up. Yeah, it was a nice low German suplex, not able to get the pin, but really well done by Willie Yuta. Swing and a miss by the oh, that. Butcher and oh, Claudio. Teamwork, teamwork. Yeah, what an assist by Claudio. The uppercut lands on the blade. And Wheeler Yuta. Oh, no, no. Rocket launcher. Rocket launcher Jones. Oh no. Rocket launcher ah. Jones. One, two, three. The winners oh. of this match, the team of the Ring of Honor Pure Wrestling Champion, Wheeler Yuta, and the Ring of Honor World Champion, Claudio Castagnoli. Oh man. The bunny, she's pissed. I haven't seen a the rocket launcher in forever. Oh, rocket launcher Jones. Good job by the Blackpool Combat Club. Yeah, a great come from behind victory for Wheeler Yuta and Claudio Castagnoli to cap us off here tonight on AEW <laughs> Dark. The crab walks continue all over Portland, Oregon here tonight. And we thank you for joining us tonight on Dark. We will see you tomorrow night, AEW Dynamite Live, 8, 7 Central on TBS. Brian Danielson versus Bandito, Darby Allen versus Kushida for the TNT Championship and the AEW All-Atlantic Championship, Orange Cassidy versus Jay Lethal. Omega! He's in it! Tomorrow on TBS. Adam Cole is back! The last Dynamite shook up AEW. Now. There will be no one-hour Iron Man match. Brian Danielson continues his quest for a title shot against Bandito. I'm talking to you, Gilligan, with the stupid hat. And Ricky Starks takes on Jake Hager. I'm going to slap your face off of your face. Wednesday Night Dynamite, live tomorrow at 8 on TBS.